Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm a student at Washington State University. I've worked at outreach events and I'm going to show you an activity that we have done involving making bridges. The supplies you'll need are dots, toothpicks, and a sheet that has different bridge designs on it. So first we would ask the kids who were most of the time elementary schoolers what shape they thought was the strongest. And from there, we would show them these two, a square and a triangle, and then we would demonstrate why the triangle was so much stronger by pressing on the top and showing that the square will move, but the triangle, when you press on it, holds its form. First, we'll start by picking which design we want to try to imitate. If we were working with a young kid, such as a kindergartner, we will choose the middle design, but as the kids increased in age, we would pick a more complex design or the most complex design. For this video, we're going to use this one. So we'll start by taking toothpicks and attaching gumdrops to each side, and each toothpick represents one line on the diagram. So now we have one side of the bridge complete and we're going to make the other side. Now that we have the two completed sides of the bridge, we're going to connect them with toothpicks. So we're going to take a toothpick and stick it out of each gumdrop on the bottom of one side of the bridge. Now we're going to take the second side and stick the bottom gumdrops onto the toothpicks. And now we have the completed bridge. Some kids will choose to connect the top gumdrops as well, which adds to the stability. And now the bridge is completely done. We can add a piece of cardboard across the bottom to act as a road if we wish but sometimes we would choose to prop up books on either side and set the bridge on it, place rolls of pennies on it to see how much weight they could hold, and that was a good way of adding a competition aspect to the bridge. I went ahead and made examples of the other two diagrams. This one matches the middle one, and this one matches the bottom one. Thank you for watching, and enjoy making your bridges.